people don't buy the product they buy the story so when we say t-shirts don't sell they don't like they don't you gotta be, be able to create something that make that t-shirt is bigger than the t-shirt itself and as bigger than you it's gotta be huge and you need to really put thought and effort behind it t-shirts do not sell all right i'm sorry to break y'all hearts but t-shirts don't sell what you think Marlon? you agree with that or you disagree hey honestly you're gonna have to watch this podcast to figure that out <laughs> hey now that we approaching a new year i know it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna want to get started into this space right yep. new and, year new me coming and a lot of y'all that's already into this space y'all gonna be thinking y'all gonna be thinking if you should continuously do this or should you just quit now all right and i'm gonna let you know right now if you're not somebody who is self-motivated if you're not somebody who will be dedicated to growing this business quit now i'm gonna go ahead and let you out the game right now because when we was getting our brand started it was not easy it was hard. We bumped our head millions and millions of times. We didn't have a podcast like this. We didn't have videos to watch like this. So we had to go through the fire. We had to go through the failures and and figure it out from there. But with these videos that we create, you get to sit in these same rooms that we are in right now with this knowledge that we have gained over how many years, Marlon? Four, about to be going on 14 years of experience inside of this industry. And you able to just Take this information and run with it, right? So if you're thinking about starting a brand or if you got a brand already going, I want to let you know right now that it's not going to be as easy as just buying 100 shirts and thinking that people just going to buy them from you, especially if you have a shirt that's not unique, especially if you have a price point that's super high and it's just a basic t-shirt. If you're not creating nothing around this t-shirt, I can almost guarantee that it's not going to sell the way that you think it's going to sell, right? And what, like... Can you explain to me a little bit more about what, like, I got what you're saying. I know I want to start a t-shirt, but, like, I don't understand it right now. Speak to me as if I don't understand what you're saying. So, a lot of times when people, when, when you in the beginner phase, you like things to be super direct. So, I'm going to give you one direct thing. One thing that won't work is if you create a logo today and you just slap your logo on a shirt and charge $30. That won't work because that, that logo don't have any value yet. That logo is a nobody to most people. Like, you have to build awareness around that logo. You have to get people to know that logo. We still barely have shirts to this day with just our logo because the whole years that we was building this brand, we wanted to build a community around World Envision, the name and the logo itself, right? So now when people buying the logo, it's just different. Is, is is more than the logo itself it actually means something to them so what i mean by that is like i want if it, i want you to start with something different in mind i want you to start with how can you make this t-shirt not just a basic t and make this a unique product itself how can you create a unique product or create a unique offer that nobody else can't beat you on and i'm not saying for you not to make money like we just was talking about this in the last video. I want you to make money, right? But for instance, when Cash Shop first got started, what did they do, Marlon? They gave five dollars. Even to this day, they gave five dollars to everybody who signed up. So if you was on Cash App and I wasn't on Cash App, guess what? You could send me your link and they'll give me five dollars to sign up. H how many both of us, how many other businesses that you know are gonna give you cash money to sign up? with that business not a lot of them right and that's the reason why some people signed up because they was like okay this is a free five dollars right so what are you going to do inside of your brand now i'm not saying go out there and give everybody ten dollars to shot with you that don't make sense right but what is going to be your unique offer that you can allow that new person to get that experience with your business netflix free trials and, and some people may look like some people just like oh you got to give out something free but Nick isn't just saying, you know, you don't just have to give money or some type of discount. Uh, you could look at this as maybe even trying some type of campaign, whether that's, uh, you know, like we was running the giveaway, win World Envision for a year free, sign up. Maybe, you know, you know, give me your text and your email, download the app. So you can create, you know, a campaign that doesn't even like offer a discount or you know, you have to just give away money to also get people to start to
to understand about your brand, know about your brand, become a customer of your brand. And, you know, it's just not you just slapping that shirt on now, but now it's you giving them value because like, now like they want to, they want to, they want to support you. So now it's going to be easier for them at the beginning to say, hey, let me see if I can win a, I like that. You know, I like- a giveaway to get that information in. And now you in, indoctrinating them inside of your community. So now they following you. Now they on your email and text mail list. Now you could follow up with them four, five, six, seven times, similar to what Cash App did. Yes. Because they knew that once you got on the platform, that you was going to have a friend, a family member, a buddy that also had Cash App. Now you able to send it to him direct. Now the value is that now you continuing to use cash up, yep. and now they making money off the fees. Off the fees, hey, and I like that you said the word campaign because all right, so check this out. And we touched on this a little bit in the last video, right? So whenever we did that collab with Bella Canvas, we sold what that was over six thousand t-shirts. Yep. All right, and I know I just told y'all that t-shirts don't sell, right? But we sold over six thousand Bella Canvas t-shirts. I'm going to give you the but exact shirt those shirts that we sold. All right. So the reason why that shirt sold wasn't because it was just a t-shirt with our name on it. But it was wrapped around a story. For one, it was wrapped around Juneteenth. Yep. Right? If you don't know what Juneteenth is, look it up. I ain't going to give you a history class on it. All right? But it was around Juneteenth. And then the profits of this shirt went to our Louisiana Tech Scholarship, the World Envision Fund. Right. So people, when they start blasting our emails to their people, we start blasting our emails to our people. For one, it was us coming together to do a collaboration. For two, it was Juneteenth holiday. For three, proceeds was going towards the scholarship fund. So with those three things in mind, it takes your mind off just buying a T-shirt. Yep. It allow you to support a movement. It allow you to support something that's, that's bigger than the T-shirt, that's bigger than Marlon and Nick. That's bigger than Bella, Bella Canvas. That's bigger than yourself in general. There's people coming together to purchase something that's ultimately going to be a, a, a more significant value than just you just buying a t-shirt and putting money in my pocket, right? So now when they even rocking this t-shirt, they feel better about wearing this shirt. Now when they, yep. like, not, they not, not even when they rock it, but if somebody asks them about it, guess what? They get to explain to them everything that we just explained to you, which then that person gonna be super impressed because they like, damn, I never seen nobody or I never heard anything like that, right? So I like that you said campaign on a marketing s- standpoint, but also campaign on a story standpoint. So we talk about having a story and wish a while all the time, but and they go over some people's head because they really think that like, all right, I told my story once. No, the whole brand is your story. <laughs> yep. You got to tell that to millions of people. Bruh, I really want to put on this video, like, a Kevin O'Leary video. Like, I, I can we put that on here? We should um, copyright issues. Copyright issues. What Man. can they find that video? All right. Kevin, I'm going to just explain it to him. Kevin O'Leary said this in a video. He said, if you asked him three years ago, what, 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 I, what, should, what should I go to college for? He would have said engineering. Engineering, 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 engineering. Go to school for engineering. You can't lose, right? He said, but if you ask him, what should you go to college for right now? Right now. Right? Right now. He was saying graphic design, videographers, photographers, people that's able to visually put out a story, people that's able to cut videos, chop videos, create uh, beautiful shoots that explain the story of a product. They paying top dollar for those positions now because those are the people in a creative in a creative world that's able to tell a story people don't buy the product they buy the story right so when we say t-shirts don't sell they don't like they don't you got to be, be able to create something that make that t-shirt is bigger than the t-shirt itself and as bigger than you it's got to be huge and you need to really put thought and effort behind it because guess what supreme been doing it for years bro like every every Thursday, remember every thir- every really at the beginning of the week, every Monday they'll send you an email saying they're doing the collab this week, and the collab will have a whole storyline behind the whole thing. It ain't just that it's hot. Yeah, it was hot too. That's the icing on the cake, right? But the cake itself, that's it being baked, it was well prepared. It was, bro. It that, was it was detailed, and that gets like I think that gets us to our next point of like taking away the T-shirt all the way out of it. Like, 
they they ain't gonna understand this one right here. Based on they you, because you said that they don't understand that. They don't your, understand like that. your business is based off of literally you. They don't understand that. You know, crafting it, making this idea, putting it out there, and 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 to break that down to y'all, like the number one thing is gonna be the entrepreneur, which is we saying is you. So the business is gonna be based on you transforming who you are to who you need to become to ultimately make that successful company. Because right now, if you don't have you know, if you're not making that ten thousand dollars a month, you're not making that hundred thousand dollars a month. You're not making. You don't have that million dollar brand, so you still got a lot of room to grow. And the room that you know that you have to grow is the actual transformation that you have to do. So, like a question that we I got asked the other day, like, what was I doing? You know, when we first got the brand started, and at the end of the day, I was telling them like the first thing is really just at the end of the day, you gotta know what's going on with your time. You gotta have a schedule because. And the next thing I told him is I had a schedule, two schedules. I had a schedule for what I'm doing right now, and then I had a schedule for what I wanted it to look like in the future. This so high, this high level, right? What now. I'm, what I'm telling you is like you may be doing customer service, fulfillment, packaging, product designs, and that's your schedule right now. But then you need to create the schedule. Okay, like, oh, well, I need to do meetings, or I need to connect with the print shop. So like now you can at now you can actually see what you got, how much you got to transform yourself to transform your business. Because if you never get, to, if you're still doing packaging for for four months, six months, twelve months, well, t- nine times out of ten, you probably still got the same operation, same Yo, business. You probably you still going. making the same money. You probably thinking about giving up. So you need to actually, you know, you are the biggest part of your business, and you got to see that transition. For yourself to actually see that transition in your this company. That, this that next level right And here. then the next thing, in my bad, I could keep going, huh? Is yeah. <laughs> going to be based off the innovation of you and your business. And what I mean by that is like, I got a picture I could drop in here. Like, we literally had a stack. I found a picture of a stack of orders that we was writing on. Handwritten orders. Stack. Pa- like, packages. Like, orders like this. I know much. exactly. What a, literally talking. a stack of orders. And... You know, now with that same system, we shipping out, you know, thousands of orders, tens of thousands of orders a month. Way we would not be able to accomplish that if we was doing that same thing. So in our minds at that time, we did not want to stop handwriting on packages no matter what. But then we had to realize, like, we, how can we do the same thing in a different way? And hey. that, that right there is called innovation. So you want to... You may be doing something inside of your company that you love to do and you don't want to take it away. And we're not here to tell you to take it away. But throughout the time that your brand is growing, you may have to innovate what you do. And so for, for us, it was taking those printed uh, receipts with handwritten notes on them and now turning that into an actual card, postcard, message from our team card that has the same handwritten feel. And now... We brand it. So now we look at, now on the back of the, of the car, we have designs on there. We being able to show people what's coming out next or what designs we have out right now. In actuality, it looked a whole lot better than what we was doing. But in our mind, we were stuck in what we was doing instead of innovating the processes that our business had. And then just the last thing is going to be based on is not the system of it. Because even going back to what you said with Bella Canvas, they, they ain't gonna understand this right now. All of the stuff that you said with Bella Canvas, we wouldn't be able to do that without the systems. Yo. Because even if we, they, like, we would be, like, running, like, some people right they now was watching this video. By, by the systems we had. If you're watching this video right now, imagine you selling six, almost 6,500 shirts and having to fulfill all of those orders, by deal with customer service, packaging, everything right now. Where exactly where you are. And some people, you can answer this if you're watching this. Do you think you can handle it or couldn't you handle it? Let us know that in this video right now. If you got 6,000. Of course 6, they're going to say 000, that they can handle it. Uh, of course they can say it. But realistically. <laughs> of course they're going to say it. Real, yeah. And that's the problem right there. They're that's being the entrepreneur. That's, that's the problem. Being We're being not real. being realistic about what we could really handle real because our up. systems are not in place. So Yo. that's going to be the three things like your business is going to be based off Yo. that don't have nothing to do with the t-shirt. Yo. That actually advance your company and bring it into a different area because just a just a point being made a system. If you figure out a system to distribute product to stores, now you could go get somebody. You could be doing something else. You get somebody else to do this, and you could continue to have your product in stores and your brand will be growing every single month. But all of that still go be all of that start from one you, the entrepreneur, putting things in play, understanding, boom, innovating because. 
Well, one, you probably going to be having to do it. Now you got to put something in play. You got to think about how do you get this there? You're going to have to create different type of landing pages or whatever it is, templates for yourself. And now you got to create Mark a system in. to handle it, fulfill it, get it there, get it to the production. <laughs> And it's don't have nothing to do with a design. The it's t-shirt, ain't got nothing to do. With none of that. T-shirts don't sell. Oh, t-shirts man. don't sell. Stories does. And the entrepreneur behind the brand is what's gonna put that story out there and what's gonna create that environment to build that community that's gonna ultimately make your business a damn ATM machine. All right. Hey, t-shirts don't sell. Remember that. I think you killed this one, Ma. Man, I appreciate, appreciate y'all hey, for watching Marlon this Marlon Watts, co-owner, CEO of Royal Envision. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you got for me? Let us know if y'all want more of these. We coming with them hot, too, huh, Coming with them hot. We coming with them hot. I need y'all to, every time y'all see us on that thumbnail, every time y'all see me and Marlon Faze, I need y'all to hit that button and watch this video all the way to the end. Yep. All right? We got some exclusive things coming up. Like, subscribe. Right? Like, subscribe. Up, baby. 100K coming soon. We Let's out. get it.